using Power BI and Teams together and ensuring everyone has the right level of access. Let's go. So as you can see, I've got a Power BI report built into my Teams channel called Power BI Sharing Demo. So this is the name of the team and I've just embedded this tab. So the only way you have to do that, it's pretty straightforward. You click on the Add tab, you find Power BI. If it's not under Recents, just search for Power BI. You click on it, you search for a report in a particular workspace. Here's the one I prepared earlier and you say save and it just shows up. Beautiful. But that's not the end of the story. Okay, there's a lot more to this. Firstly, the other people in the team won't be able to see this report unless you've shared it with them. And there's a number of different ways of sharing that report. But even before we get to this stage, there's a problem of how you set up a team and what it does in a Power BI workspace. So for example, when you create a team, it currently creates, and I say this as of November 2020, it currently creates a Power BI workspace, but not a good one. It's one of the old versions. So let me jump across and show you what I mean. I jump across to my Power BI report. I'd created the team. I then built my report in the, in the workspace here. You can see the Power BI workspace is the same as the Teams workspace. But you can tell it's an old workspace because I don't have the access option at the top here. I can't control up here who has access. And there's other limitations with this old type of workspace. So what I have to do is go to workspaces, click on the three little dots here and go to edit this workspace. This is where it then tells you who's in the team. Okay. Um, it's not great. And what you should do is upgrade now. Okay. You click on advanced and you upgrade the workspace. So if I click on upgrade now, it says you are upgrading this workspace. I won't actually do it, but it then turns it into a version two workspace. I'll show you in another example what that looks like. Okay. What that means is that you can either then continue to use that workspace or essentially what you end up doing is you could delete that workspace and it doesn't delete the Teams site. Okay. If you delete this workspace, it deletes the team site and all the content in there. So don't do that. The other thing I'll flag at this stage is you've got to tell your admin, okay, to turn off the auto creation of Teams workspaces. So under here, tenant settings, block classic workspace creation, turn that on, get your admin to turn that on and apply it. Then creating Teams won't create workspaces. Okay, jumping back to here. Um, what I will do, I will actually upgrade this. Okay, so let's see this in action. I'm clicking on it. I'm gonna go to my workspace, click on this, edit this workspace. Let's upgrade it for starters. Okay, upgrade now. And I'm gonna upgrade. So I've upgraded this workspace it's told, told me it's all good, excellent. And now I can see my access up here. And what you'll find is that by default, the entire membership of that Teams channel are now made members okay, of the workspace. That means they've got full access to the workspace to add reports, delete reports, jump into reports and play about with them. They've got full access. Also, if you know about row level security, members don't have row level security applied to them. So if you're sharing this report with somebody in that team, the row level security will be ignored and they'll be able to see everything. So that's a bit of a worry, okay? So what you would do is either remove the members totally, remove this group or make them viewers, okay? So that would be my recommendation is to make them viewers. Because as soon as they're viewers here, 
they've then all got access to see this report. They've also got access to view all the other reports in that folder. And if that's an issue, then you may want to do this a slightly different way. But by making them viewers of that workspace, they'll instantly have access to this. And it also depends on them having a license. So you can't get around this. You need a license to view the report. Or the workspace needs to be a premium workspace. Again, the viewers can see the report as long as they're viewers in that workspace. So that's one way. The way I would like it to work would be to be able to go into this, not have them here. I would like to delete them from here. I would like to be able to go into a report, okay? And I would like to be able to share it with the workspace. Now the workspace is called Modern Excel and Power BI Meetup. Sorry, the, the team is called Modern Excel. So if I go Modern, nothing comes up. Okay, I can't grant access to a report. That's a bit of a pain, okay? Whereas back here in the access level, okay, if I put in here, Modern, you see it comes up. So I can add them as members, but I can't share individual reports. I can't give access to individual reports that way. I think that's a bit of a flaw. So way number one, add them as viewers, okay? Not members. Way number two is to turn this workspace into an app. So I'm gonna go create an app and we'll call it a, it's the demo. You can give it a bit of a theme. Let's go for a, a bright blue. And under navigation, you can set all those sorts of things up. Under permissions, this is where, again, you can do um, the modern, so you can give access to everybody here. Probably don't want to include these options. And if your tenant allows it, you can install this app automatically. The downside I found of this is that the users can't delete it if they don't want it anymore. There's no option for them individually to remove the app if they don't want it. So if I say install this app automatically, the app automatically pushes to the user and that then grants them permission, okay? If I don't say install this app automatically, even though I share it with them, and they're in the team, it still doesn't work. They have to install the app before the permission flows through to them to see it in Teams, which is really confusing, okay? And there's one further complication that caught me out when I did this. So look, let me install this app automatically and I'll publish the app, okay? Got it. So that then should, in theory, if I was a, a user logging in, who's a member of the team, this report should show up, providing I got a license or providing it's in um, premium. But I got caught out, it, it didn't work, it didn't show up. What I discovered was you have to do this, you actually have to add the app a different way. So you have to go Power BI, and then rather than going via the workspaces, you have to go via the apps, and you add the report that way, Okay, this way it'll show up. This whole process is pretty confusing. The fact that Teams creates workspaces that you don't really want to use, you should upgrade them. The fact that when you upgrade them, the team me team's members, members of the team become members of the workspace, which is probably too much access. You need to change them to viewers. The fact you can't share a single report, you have to share the entire workspace or an entire app. And if you share an app, the users have to install the app or you have to force it to the users and then they can't delete the app. And once you've done that, the way you add the report is via the app. The whole process is um, needs work, needs improvement. Look, I hope you find this useful. Um, please subscribe and let me know what you think. And I'll catch you next time.